Okay, so feature engineering is complete, meaning we transformed the original data set according to the, um, the candidate um, that you saw in the generated notebook. And so now, based on the based on the 10 candidates and the 10 transform data sets okay so a candidate again is the combination of a pre-processing script and an algo so mostly here we have xjboost and i guess a linear learner and based on that now um, sagemaker autopilot is firing up a whole bunch of uh, hyperparameter optimization jobs as described Again, in the generated note, sorry, in the generated notebook, uh, and it's going to try and find the optimal hyperparameter combinations. Okay, and again, this is multi-algo uh, HPO, so it's um, it's optimizing both for XJBoost and for linear learner. And uh, as we saw in the notebook, it's going to run about 250 jobs. Um, of course, parallelizing that stuff. So that's uh, these jobs are pretty short. Uh, most of them take um, about a about a minute or so, but it's still going to take a while. So um, if that 250 uh, job uh, count feels uh, a little scary, don't worry. It's something you can actually set. Um, here it's uh, we we just use the default setting, but uh, you could absolutely. Uh, use a lower number although I'm not sure I, I would recommend it because you know we're running uh, we're running uh, uh, 10 jobs right so uh, 10 we're trying to tune 10 models so you know in a way it's only 25 uh, attempts per per model so you know you don't want to you don't want to go too low because it's uh, um, it's going to decrease the number of opportunities that uh, model tuning gets so um, um, let's so we see the jobs here and if we go in and if we look here at our uh, if we look here at uh, this experiment view we could we could also see uh, the individual jobs right and the cool thing about this is as you saw right th this is real time this oh, this refreshes so um, you um, you can actually see uh, in real time what's going on and you can see the completed jobs and you can see the running jobs and of course you can uh, well we could deploy models but that, I guess that's a little early for that uh, we want to wait for uh, for those models to be uh, to be completed right um, so I'll, we'll explore uh, we'll explore those different jobs uh, later on but uh, there's a there's quite a bit going on. So here's one. I don't know if this one is complete or not, um, but you know you can zoom in on uh, you can zoom in on those uh, on those tuning jobs, and you see the actual uh, individual steps that uh, that happen there. And of course, you know we're going to see metrics, etc. Okay. So again, full visibility on on what's going on. Um, Okay, so you know it keeps it keeps going. So let's uh, you know let's watch this. I mean it's it's actually it's actually fun to watch all those jobs running, right? And that, as you can see, these are pretty short jobs because it's it's a small data set. And uh, the, the 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 cool thing about this as well, if you've experimented with a hyperparameter tuning on SageMaker, is that here we really really pay no attention at all to infrastructure requirements. Um, this is really taken care of completely by um, SageMaker Autopilot. So, you know, we don't we don't pick instance types. We don't pick instance count. Um, uh, SageMaker Autopilot is uh, is using heuristics to um, to size the infrastructure appropriately. So sure, you know, if you go into the notebook, you see additional details and you can uh, you can tweak some more. But um, if you're just uh, happy to let Autopilot make decisions for you, and why not, then fine, right? Just uh, just fire up those jobs and uh, and wait for uh, for the best one, right? Okay, and you know, it keeps going, right? So it's going to keep going for a bit because, again, we're running 250 jobs. So let's <laughs> let's wait a little more and uh, and let's wait for tuning to be completed and then, We'll see what's what.